For those who don't know, Google Glass is a head-mounted display that displays information and takes voice commands. The Google Glass we know today wasn't what it was a few years ago. In fact, it went through many different changes, and it's still in beta. The Google X division started to begin creating Glass and made their first prototype in 2011. Believe it or not, the first concept looked like this. Absolutely terrifying. But with some interface changes and a lot of sci-fi research, we have the glass we all know and love today. It's no secret that glass is well known for its voice recognition and trigger term, OK Glass. The voice recognition is very fast and accurate. It should be noted that voice recognition isn't like Siri and only takes commands word for word. However, glass is meant to be a fire and forget device. When you use it over a single minute, Glass can get extremely hot. In addition, the battery gets very quickly drained. This unfortunately makes it hard to play games and take long videos. But on the upside, one of Glass's greatest features is Google Now, which makes gain relevant information quick and easy. Google Now gives you relevant information at the right place at the right time. As for the web browser, no, just no. You have to use very specific and hard to remember gestures on the trackpad to go through the web page and select links. Sorry, Google, but I'd rather use my smartphone on this one. Finally, we have the apps, or glassware as the official term. Glassware Gallery, aka App Store, allows you to get a small selection of apps for glass. There are very few apps, but they're all free. Here are some of the best. Shazam, Maps, which is built in, WordLens, and star chart. You can also sideload hundreds of other pieces of glassware from third-party galleries. Some people are scared of Google Glass because they think it can take videos and pictures without people knowing it. However, it should be noted that when the video is taken with the glass, a small light is shown through the prism, and it's easy to tell when one is taking video, especially in a dark room, such as a movie theater. Plus, it's Google. I mean, we can trust this tech giant that can potentially upload every single conversation that we have, right? Oh, never mind. Google Glass is a great futuristic device that introduces the public to the great future of wearables, but it doesn't come at a cost, and I'm not just talking about the fact that it costs $1,500. The fact that Glass is a fire and forget device that is partially made for developers makes it not very suitable for the public. But Glass will get better. There are multiple versions of Glass, and there will be more before its public release, should there be one. I am reviewing the second version of Google Glass, so hopefully the public release will be cheaper have a better battery, and be much improved overall. But until then, it's just a fancy new way to make cat videos. And that's why I'm giving Gloss 3.5 Geek Glasses.